Well, yeah, because you guys didn't roll it at the event. You rolled it uh, in your garage, I think. Yes, well, <coughs> sorry. Originally, it was planned to uh, roll it on site. And uh, your, we the Vancouver weather just did not allow that to happen. Yeah, I know. I was there. It was pouring freaking rain. Yeah, Man, so I, I, I missed 420. I had to go sit in the car because my back gave out. So, but John was there representing us, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, geez, man. If it wasn't for John there, holy smokers, man. He, he, he brought the tempo of the whole atmosphere to the roof. It was, it was incredible. Not only that, he was the first person, which he's going to get an award. I'm going to tell everybody right now. John probably didn't want to tell anybody, but he's getting a, uh, a award for the first oot. Uh, cool. Enjoy. So. Yeah, that's amazing, brother. Absolutely amazing. Oh, I got my lightning bolt shirt on because I just feel like a lightning bolt of force for this community and for all of us. And that's the first yeah. hoot for all of us. It wasn't about me. I was about. I was just like lighting that joint. Just go in there. I'm like, get in there, get in there, get in there. People look at me like, get in there. Like, there's enough to go around. It's like, and then I know if you, I have a, I got a little. I walk over to Dale. I see everybody, and I got a little video footage. I think it's four minutes and twenty seconds long. Of course, four twenty, right? So I went four minutes twenty seconds, and and uh, it was just such an amazing feeling to be a part of what we fought History? so. Hard. And where we are in history today, and where yep. we going to, and that growth that we can actually keep going forward, and envisioning that next largest joint, and what we can do with it, and having that community based around it, Mercules, and I, I, I so I remember half the band's names, like even the end party we went over when we were uh, with Afro Man, which was just off the hook, you know what I mean? I was blessed to be able to be on the stage with Afro Man up there, and just on the side stage having fun, and and being able to be part of that whole community, and seeing how. Now it's just getting to that next level that we all it's dream opening about. up. It's what we all dreamed about. We wanted to go. To, we can go to the bar and drink. Now we can go and hang out and smoke some weed and join, have some fun. This is a great band and have the world's largest joint. And mm -hmm. and you know what I mean, like. And then I go to this next event in Kelowna, and they have this block party of all these garages opened up and like a little roundabout townhouse type of uh, atmosphere attached to the Alberta Hotel. It was all set up beautifully going in and out of these basements type sale garages and grabbing different weed from different industries from all nations, simply bare. And there was high life and born beyond. And, and, and then the list goes on. It was like quad buzz. They won first place. And some of it was just that health Canada, their talks and it's just the way everything kind of orchestrated over the period of now 420. It's just one event. It's several events that are merging together as one. And it just mm -hmm. continues. Right, and we can continue this. We all send them at the same time. It's what we've all wanted. This is what we've all dreamed to see. Well, the 420 live, John. Yes. Wow. Spread, spread it out to 42 people around the world that it never stops. They just keeps growing and add another. They gather another 42 live people and just keep it going right. and growing. And keep it growing and growing. And it's good. Yeah. We've lost our grace behind us, like Paul, you know, I'm my mom, I do, but I went. Like Dr. Hornby and Randy Kane and Greg Williams and, and Michelle Rainey and Horatio Delbert and Jason Wilcox and Bert. These are just my friends that are close to me. And then we get into the old school like Franco and we get into Frenchy Cannoli and, and then the list goes on from, from uh, I mean, Jack Herrera. Like we can now start naming the greats through history that got us to where we are. Well, we get to yeah. leave that legacy for the next generation. And the hundred-year mission for the growth on the 90th floor, organics growing their own soils, their own strains, their own turps, and having their own flavors for their own medicine. Think of that. that we can be a part of that vision because we are, because it's what we represent. We hid behind doors for the last couple of decades. Now we can evolve and show people what we're truly about and how it helped heal us. And that's what yeah. we love to share because we can see how it is changing the world. And we're a part of that change the awakening, the new move of self-growth and healing and development, right? So, I mean, it's great to be a part of this, guys, and uh, I think we need more weed. That's one thing. I've been yeah. smoking this waffle cakes, and it's just been like lighting up my... I had a big jar. It's almost gone. I was smoking on it. There you go. See, and I agree with you. You know, before legalization, 
it was those who know know. Yeah. Yeah. Those who didn't don't. You know, exactly. now since legalization, even myself, I've come out to the public and you know, I want everybody out there to be, you know, looking in their garden and looking in their plant room and say, Hey, I grew that for me. Yeah. So, right you know. there. Yeah. Right there, man. Love you for that. You know. Wow. You know, and on top of that, even though it takes quite some time to grow and harvest, but you know for a fact they're going to be eating for the next couple months because they grew enough. Yeah. You don't have to worry. Do I eat today or do I get my medicine? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and it, that hits my heart big time. I, uh, yeah. I'll tell you a little yeah. sad story. About not even a month ago, I had a friend. He he took a long dive. Mm -hmm. Because of the fact that he was couldn't handle the pain and not eating at the same time. And that's why I emphasize on the eating aspect of it. Because this guy was skinny as a rail. I had no idea. He didn't share it with me. I hadn't seen him in a few years. It, it 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 brought it to the forefront for me now that you know if if you're having a hard time you you guys out there on pension stuff like that hit me up hit me up if i don't have i'm going to hook you up with somebody who does because you need to do both to survive and Without, you know, without the love of the, some of these people and without these being around, there's a lot of loss 